How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking pig wings. Now, if you don't know what a pig wing is, it's just a piece of meat cut from the fibula on the shank of the pig. It's got a bone running in it. It's right there. And for me, I'm gonna cook these just like a rib. So they're gonna be delicious. They're gonna be smoky. They're gonna be tender. And I'm super excited to cook these. So let's bring you in and show you how we're gonna prep these pig wings. All right guys, and before we prep these pig wings, I just wanted to mention I did get these from Porter Road and I will have a link down below if you wanna order some and try them for yourself, which I highly recommend doing. So enough with the advertisement here. So how we're gonna prep these pig wings is you can see here, there's a lot of fat and a lot of silver skin on there and that's gonna add as a barrier for our rub and our smoke. So we wanna go ahead and make sure we remove this. And right here, this is just a little piece of fat and meat that we're just gonna take off because that's just gonna burn up out on the cooker. What you wanna do is just go ahead and remove any of this fat and any of the silver skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. The best way to do it is just to get your knife underneath and try not to remove any meat, but just take that silver skin off. And it helps if you have a sharp knife for this. Mine does need to be sharpened. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove as much as we can and just be careful not to take off any meat here. Okay guys, and you can see I have this trimmed up. You can see this is where the bone is running over here. So that's looking pretty good, pretty cleaned up. So I'm gonna set this off to the side, get this one trimmed up and I will bring you back. Okay guys, you can see our pig wings are looking pretty good here. We got them cleaned up for the most part. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and cook these basically like I would ribs. So I'm gonna start off with a coat of the Tailgaters Barbecue Party Rub. And we're just gonna go ahead and use that as our base layer. Go ahead and press it in. Flip it over. Repeat the process on the other side. And then we're just gonna pick up any excess from our board with the pig wings here. Now the next rub we're gonna come in with is this Elk Creek Barbecue, and this is Hog Knuckle, and this stuff is really delicious. It gives stuff a great color. So this is gonna be just our color rub, a little bit of flavor on there, a little bit of barbecue flavor on these. We go ahead, just get a light coat on each of these. Go ahead and press it in. And this stuff smells awesome. It already smells like barbecue. Go ahead and press that in. That is looking pretty good to me. We'll pick up any excess on our board here. Make sure we get everything coated up evenly, all our sides. All right, now that we have our pig wings seasoned up, I'm gonna go out and get the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 fire up, and I will meet you guys outside at the cooker. All right guys, you can see we have our pig wings on the cooker. We are running at 300 degrees on our Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. We have Cookin' Pellets Longhorn Blend on here, which is just mesquite, cherry, and hard maple. So we're gonna go ahead and let these smoke for an hour, and then we'll come out and check on them. And like I said, we're cooking these just like a rib. So we will see you guys in one hour. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and check on our pig wings here. It has been one hour. You can see they are looking absolutely delicious. A lot of nice bark forming on there. Super juicy, just dripping right there. So we're gonna go ahead and take an internal temperature on these. Let's see where we're at. Hopefully you can see that we're about 160. I'd like to get these up to about 170 degrees before we wrap them up. So this one's about 166. So we're gonna let these go for about 20 more minutes and then I'll bring you out and then it'll be time to wrap. So we'll check on these in about 20 minutes and we will see you guys then. All right guys, it's been 20 more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check on these pig wings. You can see, looking delicious. Still looking nice and juicy. That bark is set up nicely. It's not coming off when we touch it. So we're gonna go ahead and get these inside and get them wrapped. Show you the other one here. That is looking fantastic. So let's get these inside and get them wrapped and I will meet you guys in the house. All right guys, so to wrap these up, you can see I just have a piece of aluminum foil here folded over, so it's basically doubled up. We're gonna go ahead and take our pig wing and look at the color on that. That looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, it smells wonderful. I can't wait to try this, but we gotta get them tender. So I'm gonna take one pad of softened butter here and just kind of put that on top there. And then I'm gonna be using some Head Country Apple Habanero barbecue sauce. And we're just gonna go ahead 
and drape it over the top and run it a little bit around it just so it has a little bit of liquid in there. Keep it moist and steam it, get it nice and tender. And then we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So we'll go ahead and fold over like that. And then fold up our sides. So it's a nice little package like that. We're gonna repeat that with our other one. Little pat of butter, look at that. Nice little pullback on that bone. It almost looks like a big old meaty rib. Man, I can't wait to try this. Go ahead and press that down. Hit it with some sauce. Run it all the way around. Then we will go ahead and we will wrap it up. Except I think for this one we'll go to the side. Nice and tight. Over, over, over like so. We'll go ahead and we'll tighten it up. And we are gonna get these back out onto the cooker and we will probably check them after about an hour. So I'm gonna get these back on and I'll check in with you after the hour mark and we'll see if these are tender or not and see how they're going. But like I said, I'm really excited to try these. So we will see you guys in one hour. All right guys, so it has been one hour. We're gonna go ahead and check our pig wings and I did go ahead and check the internal temp on these. They're reading at about 208 to 210 degrees. So I'm just gonna open these up so you can see them there. Go ahead and grab our Thermoworks. So 208 degrees there. It's feeling pretty tender, feels good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take these out and because that bark softened while it was in the wrap, we're just gonna go ahead and let these sit on the cooker for about three, four minutes and just let that bark harden back up on there. So we'll go ahead and get these back on and let this bark reset itself. Of course, you can do this with ribs as well, but looking absolutely delicious there. So we're gonna go ahead, get this closed down, and we'll come back and check on it in about two, three minutes and we'll get them sauced up. All right guys, so it's been about three minutes. You can see our pig wings have set back up. They're looking absolutely delicious. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and get some sauce on them. And I just have a little warmed up sauce here. Just gonna go ahead and brush them up. Just for a little glaze. You can see that sauce has a really nice glaze on it. Now we're just gonna get them back on the cooker, close this down. And we're going to let that sauce set for about five minutes, so we'll see you then. All right, guys, so it's been about five minutes. We went ahead and let our sauce set. And you can see there, those look absolutely delicious. Beautiful glaze on them, beautiful color. So we're going to get these inside. We're going to let them rest, and then it'll be time for a taste test. So we will see you then. All right, guys, you can see we have our pig wings here. They look absolutely awesome. They smell wonderful. I can't wait to try them. But before we do, let's just go over what we did. We went ahead and seasoned our pig wings from Porter Road with party rub and hog knuckle. We got them out on the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 at 300 degrees with the hopper loaded up with Cookin' Pellets Longhorn Blend, which is just mesquite, cherry, and hardwood maple. I really wanted that cherry color, but I wanted the flavor of the other smoke, and I really think this came through on there. We let these cook for about an hour and 20 minutes until they had good color. We wrapped them up with a little butter, a little bit of sauce, and we cooked them till they were about 208, 210 degrees, got them nice and tender. We pulled them off, we sauced them, we let them rest, and now I can't wait to try them. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm gonna grab this one right here because it looks like it has a handle. Man, that is absolutely delicious. It's smoky, it's sweet, it's sticky, it's got wonderful flavor. It doesn't have the texture of a rib, it's more along the lines of like a, a ham kind of, but it almost reminds me of a beef rib, the texture of it. It's absolutely awesome. I'm going in for another bite. Look at that, just biting straight off the bone. Really nice bite to it. Excellent flavor. And how's that for a clean bone? That was absolutely delicious. Guys, you absolutely gotta give these a try. Head down to the link below and order yourself some pig wings from Porter Road. You're not gonna regret it. It's a fun new cook. People are gonna be intrigued. And these are absolutely delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.